Welcome to beautiful Sydney Harbour. Look at that. Beautiful. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's windy as usual. This massive boat is leaving the harbour. Can you see the... See the opera house there? Maybe it's the light. I'm not sure. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Today, I want to talk about DHVing. Now, <laughs> how can I ex describe this? There's quite a lot of coaches out there, e even if you think that they're the best in the world, a large percentage of them are just marketers. Oh, it's so windy. Hopefully you can hear me. And what they do is they use their, their sales techniques to get clients and then they use that same technique as a form of strategy to get girls but you got to keep in mind that that strategy of getting clients is evidence that they were always marketers they weren't authentic gamers that learned to game originally they were marketers they were salesmen this started out, I guess, there, there, there's been a lot of coaches out there that say that you need to dress as best you can and put on a suit and you need to uh, look smacks, make sure you have strong eye contact and a firm handshake. These are sales techniques. Now, DHVing, when you DHV, this is a sales technique as well. You know, you, you, wear, you, you wear a nice suit, you you let your clients know that you are making a lot of money and you're you're very successful and they're more likely to go with you you have uh, lots of testimonials and referrals and you have other men who are pretending to be clients of yours when in fact they're salesmen of yours salesmen of yours telling prospective clients and reaching out to them and telling them how awesome you are telling people that you're the goat and you're awesome at game and so therefore they they should pay for your uh, pickup strategies as well you create a whole bunch of fake profiles that are supposed to be individual people and you can slowly but surely DHV your clients now what happens if you have a pickup coach that is DHVing clients and then they decide to use DHV on women? Now, we're a couple minutes in now. My question to you guys is, can you DHV a 10? Or can you DHV a 9? Can you do that? I think grandma liked my video. Can you DHV a 10? That, that's the question that I'd like to leave to you guys. If you're a 10, or even if you're a 9, especially in America, some of these Western countries where a lot of them are quite privileged and have a lot of options, do you have the ability to tell her that, you know, you drive a Ferrari, you can be very successful yourself, you could uh, have a, uh, an experience you know, you, you could have a, a big business, you'd be super cool, etc. Um, but a 9 and a 10, think about this logically, how many billionaires and guys worth half a billion dollars and multi-millionaires and successful businessmen and popular guys and rappers and stars, people with status, are in her D DMs. How, how many tens and nines, like legitimate tens and nines, objective tens and nines, not ones based on uh, the mate value differential? How many tens can you DHV successfully when her DMs are full of billionaires? You guys can answer that yourself or leave a comment and let me know what you think. Can you DHV a 10?
can you so let's just say we're looking at it from a, a the the mate value differential we're taking into account your value as a man versus her value so let's just say you are of lower mate value and the absolute limit to what you are capable of getting uh, she might be an eight but to you because you're a lower value man she's a ten you know just say you're a, you're an objective five or something like that yeah you got yourself an eight that's punching up that's well done I would argue that you could possibly DHV them. You could possibly use DHV on an eight if you're of lower value. If you do it subtly as well, you could also travel to uh, you go your passport bro you're out of your way out of the country and uh, DHV a girl who has less understanding of her value in the global marketplace and. Uh, even though billionaires are DMing her all the time, she doesn't have access to them. But if we're talking about legitimate nines and tens, and the coach that is talking to you is in his prime, and he's a, possibly a millionaire by getting all the clients, he would be a very high value man himself. And so therefore he's not really punching up too high to get himself legitimate nines and tens. Is he using the DHV method to get legitimate nines and tens? Or, or is it just a sales and marketing technique that's just been recycled and using it to pick up girls as just another strategy that isn't really that effective? That's what I like to ask you guys. There is an argument to be made that you can DHV just to give you a little bit more time so you can show your personality and run some proper game and then you're more likely to get her. The counter to that is a legitimate 9 or 10 would be surrounded by such high value men all the time that she would be able to see through your DHV lies if they are in fact DHV lies. And let's just say that they're not DHV lies. Let's just say you are legitimately uh, extremely high value in your prime, fit, high status, lots of money in the bank, successful. Then is that even game? Or is it just black pill philosophy? Because I would say that a lot of the guys out there that would be pushing, say, red pill, they go, get your game up, get your money up, hit the gym, and then all we're really doing is uh, effectively black pill philosophy. There's not really a lot of game involved in that. Black pill, you might as well go black pill, become rich, get jacked, get successful, get some status, and then DHV a girl. And then there's no real game involved at all, is there? So I have a lot of questions and I would like you guys to leave a comment and let me know what you think about that. I would argue that if you are to punch up, I would try to hide a lot of your intent early on to buy yourself more time using more of an indirect method to punch up because then again, the, the guys that uh, like to push this, they might say that you should be going direct. But I'd just like to open up a conversation with you guys. Because the question really, the, you get to the bottom of this, it's can you DHV a 10? If you can't DHV a 10, then if you're an 8, and you're going for a nine, can you DHV a nine if you're an eight or a seven? Most guys that get in the pickup, most of you guys out there, let's just not be crude about this, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but the majority of guys that are struggling with women, the majority, not all, they're, they're struggling with women uh, because on average, not always, on average, they are of lower mate value, lower status in society. And that's not an insult, when 80% of us are down here, I'm down here, 
I'm not rich. I'm not jacked. Uh, I'm old. I'm in my 40s. I'm not tall. I would give myself a four. <laughs> but the thing is, when I get sevens and eights, that's punching up. That's next level punching up. With all the tricks in the book. Who cares? And that's what you guys should be trying to achieve. And my argument is that you can't DHV a 9 or a 10. That's my argument. I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments. Hmm, deep thoughts. Overlooking beautiful Sydney Harbour. You can't really see it. It's bright here and the Opera House is white. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.